reviews of books I haven't read in years. Okay, and then we get to the three books that got me into Pern in the first place that are some of my favorite books of all time from childhood. We have Dragon Song, Dragon Singer, and Dragon Drums, though Dragon Drums was never as much my favorite as the other two. The other two follow damn it, Mentally. Uh, she is a Harper, but she's the first girl Harper in forever! Because one of the interesting things about this series is because of one choice made in Dragon's Dawn by one lady who was basically an anti-feminist, uh, the entirety of Pern, even though it's set in the future where we've, of course, gotten over misogyny, it all reverts back to, like, the medieval idea of women stay home and cook. The men have jobs and careers, even though that's not quite how things were in the Middle Ages. But, you know, what we imagine. Uh, but Minnelly wants to be a Harper, and she's basically told she can't because she's a girl. And she goes on an adventure, uh, ends up lost from her hold, getting rescued by dragons. She gets a buttload of fire lizards, reintroduces fire lizards to the entire world of Pern. And eventually, yes, becomes a Harper. Then there's Dragon Drums, which is, even though it's part of the same series, sort of isn't. It follows her young friend, Pimer, who is was originally uh, brought to the Harper Hall to be a singer. He has an amazing uh, childhood voice, but then he hits puberty and his voice cracks and, like, it's never going to be as good. And he's sort of trying to find his place in a society where he's been raised to be one thing and now he can no longer be it. Uh, he ends up getting lost on the southern continent, which is rediscovered, and he goes on adventures and discovers his world. And one of the things that's just interesting about Anne McCaffrey's series is a lot of her books are written from one person's perspective, and you get the idea in your head of who this character is. But then you see them from other perspectives, and they're different. And Pimer is one of those main characters that does that. When you see him from Minnelly's perspective, he's one thing. He is sort of this sweet, innocent, playful little kid. When you see him from his own perspective, he's a little bit emo, but, you know, just a normal teenage boy. And when you see him from other characters, he's a bit of a dick. And I just find that interesting.